the Chorus Pod, or Performance Optimization Device, claims to provide you advanced metrics on your run. But does it deliver? Let's find out. Hi everybody, I'm Yair and I welcome you to my channel. If you're into fitness and tech, you came to the right place. Let's look at this quote from the Chorus website. Can you ever have enough data? We didn't think so, which is why we created the Chorus Performance Optimization Device, aka the Chorus Pod. The Chorus Pod provides all the advanced running analytics you crave, complementing your Chorus GPS watch to help keep you healthy and fit. Sounds quite interesting. So this device weighs only 19 grams and it has a 1 ATM water rating, so you're covered in running in any rainy condition. The price for the Chorus Pod is 70 US dollars. It clips on the back of your pants, you won't even feel it's there. Just don't forget it's there after the run, otherwise it will find its way to the washing machine. In order to activate it, you just need to shake it and you're all set. The battery is replaceable and should last up to one year if you use it in about two hours a day. It is compatible only with Chorus watches, so if you're a user of a different company, no luck there. It supports both Bluetooth and N+. I occasionally found connection issues. When I wore it, I had some dropout of my Polar Verity Sense and I suspect it had to do with interference with the Chorus Pod. I have to admit, it didn't happen that often. The Chorus Pod collects the following information. First, left and right balance. The split between your left and right leg. If you're not close to 50-50, you may need to correct your running form. Stride ratio, which is your stride height divided by your stride length. An ideal stride ratio ensures that you are using your body energy to propel yourself forward as efficiently as possible. Stride height or vertical oscillation, which measures how high your body lifts off the ground during your running stride. Ground time, how long are your feet on the ground during the run. Form power. This is essentially the amount of power wasted due to inefficiencies in your running form. Let's look at some real-time data from the Chorus app. So whenever you open the Chorus app, the data will be automatically added to your run. You don't need to do anything. You can see here the ground time, the left-right balance, the stride ratio, the stride height, and etc. If you'll click on one of those metrics, you'll have a graph, and then you can add each of the other metrics and you can combine them. You can see that I have uh, three layers here. For each of the metrics, you can see the result in any given time. So you won't be missing out on data here. So what is my conclusion? For the data savvy runner out there, the Chorus Pod gives you a lot of data. What should you do with the data is something totally different. Personally, I didn't find this data providing me with any benefit. That's why, after a few runs, I ditched it and left it in the drawer. It would have been nice if Chorus were providing some useful guide or feedback that can help you to improve your runs. I personally don't know what to do with all of it. So my recommendation is to skip this one unless you absolutely love data and analyze everything about your runs. That's all for today. If you like this review, don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and don't forget to train hard and Bye.